This video will explain how to plot, analyze, and understand data from a Hobo UX90005 or 006 light and occupancy logger. So we want to open the data, open a historical data file. We click on File, Open Data File. We have one here. Let's open that. And here we can select or deselect uh, what series we want to look at. We can also look at internal events uh, such as internal calibration when the light sensor was calibrated in the field, when the USB cable was connected. Uh, let's not, we'll deselect those uh, just for clarity here. Click on plot. And here is our data. The, the logger was set up in what we call state mode where it's recording down to a one second granularity when the lights are off or at state zero. Uh, or when they're on at state one, same with occupancy, uh, unoccupied would be zero, occupied would be a one. Um, this data is very interesting, but not. it takes a little bit of um, decoding if you wanted to really get a good picture of your uh, space being monitored. So for that, we have a tool called a pie chart. Uh, we give you the ability to see this data in a, in a pie chart mode or graph. So the way you would select that is you go up to the top of the screen and select pie chart. And here you can see the data is much more easier to understand. Um, you have your standard pie chart. You can see that 74% of the time the lights were off, the space was unoccupied. 11% um, of the time uh, the lights were on and it was occupied. 3% it was unoccupied and the lights were on. And 11% it was occupied but the lights were off. You can, you can um, change your time frame if you want. Uh, if you wanted to zero in on a specific time period, you can also... Um, save this pie chart or you can print it as well. For more information on using Hobo loggers and Hoboware, you can click on Help, Hoboware Help in Hoboware, consult your Hoboware User's Guide, or go to our website, onsetcomp.com.